Start off slow when you hit the bag for the first time. Soft and steady, or soft and slow, is what we always say to beginners hitting the bag. First you want to do is make sure you have good distancing with the bag. So in this case, I'm a righty, so my right hand's behind me, left leg's in front, left leg in front with the left hand extended. Always start with your front hand. Extension should be about 98%. You don't want to hyperextend it, lock it out, and you don't want to be punching halfway where you're not really getting good workout or the benefits of punching it stronger. So get used to gauging the distance with the front hand. Okay, just like that. Tap. Keep your front foot solid. Get used to lifting up your rear heel off the floor. Always punch and protect. I don't have gloves on now, but I'm punching the same way I would if I did have gloves from here. Gloves serve a couple purposes. One is to protect your hand, uh, your skin, your knuckles, your wrists with the strap or with hand wraps. But also number two, as a, as a workout, it gives you more resistance. So you have that extra cushion where you have to push harder and punch faster. And if you have 16 ounce gloves on, uh, you get that extra workout. So in terms of technique, it's fine. In terms of workout, it's always good to have gloves on. Now to add to the number two punch or to add the number two punch, the number one punch is one, two. Get in the habit of pivoting. Right, so if you see my belt, it moves. I'm not pushing, I'm trying to snap. Even though it's soft and slow, I'm snapping. Always bring the hand back to my chin. A little stronger, a little bit faster. All right. So after you do two punches, add one more. One, two, three, and then you add the roundhouse kick. Three punches, one kick. Get ready to feel your heart rate pumping. Now sometimes I lift up my heel so I can get onto my ball feet so that when I kick, I better pivoting. So the more you pivot, the more power you generate from spinning. Another way to turn your foot properly is to turn your foot to the direction you're kicking and then kick. All right? So try that first. Gauge your distance. One, two, three. Pivot and come back. Try to kick and land back. And if you don't have a bag, if you're just shadow boxing, it's the same. Land back. So pivoting, distancing, engaging your power with the bag is very important so you get more familiar, uh, familiar with your work on your bag. More videos on the way. Take it slow.